The Raspberry Pi is such a versatile piece of hardware, and it can find applications in many different fields, including music. In this video, we will build a piano using a Raspberry Pi and a MIDI keyboard. To start with, you'll need a Raspberry Pi, a microSD card with Raspbian preloaded, a MIDI keyboard, a speaker or some headphones, and just for the initial setup, your standard input peripherals and a monitor. The first step is to install FluidSynth by running this command. This is the synthesizer that we will use for this project. Once this is done, we are ready to start the application. To start it, we will run this command. Note that in this case, we are setting the audio driver to ALSA and the gain to 5. The default gain is 0.2, which I found was way too low. There's a bunch of other options that you can pass in. We'll have a link to the user manual in the description, if you'd like more information on that. You'll notice that your meter keyboard will still be non-functional. That's because it first needs to be connected to the synthesizer. So, on a new terminal, you can list the output ports like so. Just make sure that your MIDI keyboard is plugged in and powered on at this point. And as we can see, the client IDs for the MIDI keyboard and synthesizer are 20 and 128 respectively. Now, let's connect them together. Our MIDI keyboard should now be working properly. Now, I'll admit that it can be a bit of a pain to manually make the connection all the time. To make things a bit easier, let's create a script to automate this process. We'll call it Run Piano, but feel free to name it whatever you like. The content of the script is provided in the description. Note that these are the two commands we used earlier. We can now save the file. To ensure that it can be executed, we will run this command. And let's try running it to see if it works. Awesome! We can take it one step further and make it headless. To do this, add the path of the script to your bash profile, which should be in your home directory. If not, you can create it as well. Save the file, and there you go. The next time you power on your Raspberry Pi, FluidSynth should be automatically started and connected to your MIDI keyboard. And you shouldn't have to connect anything other than the MIDI keyboard. And a speaker or some headphones, of course. Thank you for watching this video, subscribe for more content like this, and as always, keep dialing pixels.